Okay, boys and girls, this art project is focusing on the French artist Henri Matisse, and he was a French painter, and he was actually an Impressionist artist. But what we're going to do is actually focus on his later works, and when he did a collage, and it was called Drawing with Scissors. Now, a collage is when we're going to be cutting out shapes in paper and gluing them onto a larger piece of paper. And a collage can be anything as well as paper. It could be string, and yarn and buttons and sequins and glitter and any found objects but today we're doing paper now you'll remember that we did our painted paper in one of our lessons and it's all dry and I've cut it up and we're going to get one sheet each and we're going to use this as a texture in our art project now texture is the appearance on the surface of something that has been drawn or painted in this case it's the painting and the painting gives us the idea of how the surface would feel so if I wasn't allowed to touch this, I'd look at it and visually I could see the texture. But I can touch it and I can run my finger across it and I can feel the texture is rough. And we're going to use that as part of our art project. You're going to get one each. So there's lots of varieties of colours. I'm going to use this one. I like this one, the blue and the orange one. We've also got solid colours of construction paper and you're going to use two to three different colours out of these squares as well and that's all we need to make for this art project. I'm going to turn this round the other way and every table is going to get a variety of tracing shapes that you can trace on the paper or you can create your own. I'm going to start with the largest one that we have and I'm going to put it, as you can see, I'm not going to trace it on the front, I'm going to trace it on the back and I'm going to bring it down to the edge so I'm being very economical, I'm using this paper and I'm going to trace around with a pencil until I've got the whole thing drawn and I can see I've still got some space here and I'm going to put another shape so I can get two shapes out of this one piece of paper and this is what I want you to try and do as well so we can get lots of shapes out of one piece of paper before I start cutting it. Now I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut, 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 cut. I'm going to do my best scissor cut and I'm going to go around all those shapes until I end up with this shape and this shape. These were the ones that I cut out and I traced that shape and this one here. So you can see what I've ended up with. This is my paper. I'm going to give you either white or beige as your background paper. I'm just going to set it. It could go, I could have my paper this way and I could have it growing up like that and this going here. Or I could turn it round and I could have it going diagonally and this little guy up here. So you move it around to see where you want it, okay? And I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm going to play around with that to see what else I can do. I'm going to get more shape traces and I'm going to pick some colours. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm actually picking shapes and seeing how many I can get onto one paper and then I would trace around. So you can see I can get four onto there. I'll trace around them with my pencil. Go one, two, three, four. Maybe you could only get one on or maybe you could get two on. In this case I've got four on and I'm going to use my best scissors skills and I'm going to cut them out. So I imagine I've just cut them out. I've got some shapes that I've already cut out in different colours. So you can see when I'm at this stage, I'm going to start placing. And what I can do is I can even put shapes on top of shapes. And it really adds a lovely dimension. This actually is making me think of a lovely underwater garden. And this is all using organic shapes. Okay, not the geometric shapes that we've been discussing. We are using organic shapes and I can layer, put them behind, put them on top. I'm going to do that. And I made some small circles. I'm going to put that one there. And when I'm really, really happy with it, I'll pop that one there. I'm going to glue it all down. And then that would be my Henri Matisse drawing with scissors collage. I'm just going to bring it in so you can see it for close up. And now it's your turn, boys and girls. Let's make our own drawing with scissors collage in the style of Henri Matisse. 